Shout hat. Ah, that's you to materialise. <laughs> the new Doctor Who and his new assistant. How are you? I can't even get in. <laughs> Are you well? We're all right. Good morning. Good to meet you, mate. Good morning. Good morning. How are you enjoying your new roles? Good fun. Fine, great. I know you haven't eaten yet, I know. We're doing well. <laughs> That's great. That's good. So how many, how many people actually, do you actually go for a part like Doctor Who and his assistant? Do you apply or do they sit back and decide? Does the master sit somewhere and say, what about him? The master certainly doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, not, not that master. <laughs> I'll let Nicola answer first. Um, well, I think as far as the assistant goes, um, an agent usually will put you up for the role mm. and you just hang around for five years waiting to see if you can get it. Do you actually go and study the other roles or look at videos of people who've done it before? No, because I don't think it applies with the assistant. You're always a new character coming in, yes. um, playing a, a different part, and so you just go in, hopefully having do read it. your little script about who you're going to be and do, do your it bit. your way. Yeah. It must be quite strange having watched it for the years and then being it. Yeah, it is, especially if you were a fan and yes. you watched it and you grew up with it and then suddenly... <laughs> You're in the studio doing it. Yes. And how, how are you going to differ, Colin, to the other doctors? Uh, do, do they say, we, we see you going in this direction? Or? Well, it's a sort of consultative process. I mean, what, what happened was that uh, John Nathan Turner, the producer, uh, had the idea that I should play it, and we got together and we talked about it, and they sent me away with the tapes that Nicola didn't watch, thousands of them, and I watched about every episode that's ever been shown. Mm -hmm. Not because I wanted to copy any of my predecessors, because that's not what the part's about, but... Uh, just so that I could assimilate the doctorness of the doctor. Yeah. And then I came in with my ideas of how I thought I'd like to play it. And we talked about it, kicked it around. Right. And who decides on, on the particular clothes that you wear? <laughs> well, I, I think his <laughs> eyesight... Like this normally, I think his eyesight was a little poor, don't you? <laughs> uh, John Nathan, the producer, had the idea of uh, the costume should be extremely bad taste. I think he drew that idea from my own personality, I don't know. <laughs> he, he definitely succeeded, didn't he? <laughs> he did, he did. <laughs> because nothing goes with anything. <laughs> there, so the difficult thing was...